nasikia eh mtu ananishika ananishika eh kushika hivi kauliza ni nani no riko takira mkami mkami ni mimi kashika ka bed switch ai hakuna stima kabisa kuna ile flashlight ya simu kamulika na nikaona ni babangu amekalia bed yangu nimelala hapa na watoto wangu ako na vest ako na kitu short sijui hata ni box ama nini alikuwa amevaa nikamwambia hapana a a uraika the bedroom kwa kwa niki a kira acha tuongee kidogo tuongee tu kidogo kuja si unajua sasa backlight imeisha so anishika shika tu hivi unapata anishika boobs mimi nazaribu kutoa mkono namuuliza ni nini kwena ngo badala ni muuliza kwena ngo ma sasa hata nishakiti kaambia nitapiga nduru hata siku hata nikapiga nduru mara mbili uma kana mbitane nitapiga nduru toka hapana ukauka sasa tashaingiza mkono na huku kwa beddings anajaribu kunishika ananivuta ashaanza anakanishika mguu ashaanza kunivuta sasa nikapiga nduru kaniambia mkamia hapana uka babako moja overnight ilikuwa usiku akatwambia i want to let you know this me and you can't live under one roof tafuta mali utapeleka watoto wako watoto ni wa mama Yes good morning good afternoon and also good evening depending on where you are tuned in from I go by the name Jefasi Outa Murori TV YouTube channel and if it's your first time here kindly make sure that you subscribe to this channel and also make sure you subscribe to Kororia TV we are coming live from a, a place called Tukasa Gardens Tukasa Garden iko mbali sana na wewe kwa sababu Tukasa Garden iko tu hapa Maruroi next to Ashaki Gardens na leo hii Niko na story noma sana. Ni story ya mwanadada fulani hapa ambaye tutakuwa tunashirikiana naye kwa muda sio mrefu sana. Tuweze kusikia story yake, story ambayo amepitia machozi, story amepitia uchungu uh, kupitia kwa familia, wazazi, enoso kwa marafiki. So ningekusihi tu ama ningekuomba uweze ku katu kwa hii channel na kabla tufanye hivyo labda ni kupati ujube kidogo sana. Have you ever invested somewhere else? It's very important to invest kama mimi una shamba ama hauna ni vizuri sana kukuwa na mahali ambapo unaweza kwako it's very simple inaweza kuwa ngumu kupata pesa zote kwa pamoja lakini kidogo kidogo ama haba na haba hujaza kibaba ningekusihi tu ama nikuulize aweze kutazama ujumbe mbona ufuata then tutarudi tufanye story Nyo kore tu gida kabuni ya jehoka ku ogegithia nayo reu doga tage kerege kabuni ya residential capital limited mari haha ni todo akwe tore na broti da kamuno kore mwena wa malindi na mwena wa matu sha 50 by 100 ili tore dia na beya muko waku mwena wa malindi tore dage kamiro gwena tu kuma malindi airport na tore ganetia na sarget bypass hakwe na wero technical college broti shitu tora kwede dia na thogora wa giriga na rimwe ya mirogo etano peke yake ukaigera giriga mirogo etano icho igyo hana merie tada tu ukegera okay, title deed yaku atorodi ya matu na kuonea tia tuna broti along kivandini masinga bypass gatagate kama tu amwaki na kalundu shopping center na ndege kai 15 tu kuma matu town tra kwederia na thogora mvashirire washire gigiri magana mere ma 50 peke yake wari hashire gigiri 50 icho igyo kare hana ihida ria merie tada tu murata wakwa dukeyo herigi uhoro wina guo ha uhoro makeria no tu horere thimu namba 070 5327268 kana 0722 113630 kana to share rawa vijina shitu royal town dev cash house first floor room number 9 waraneria naidwe residential capital limited home lives dreams enao bila kupoteza wakati moja kwa moja tuweze kushirikiana na mgeni wetu wa leo tumjue atusalimie na tusikie sauti yake nikimwangalia na mwanadada baye ajakaa vibaya sana Sijui kama ni grace ya God imemsustain ama ni hao lakini anatuambia tuweza kumjua zaidi. Yes, habari yako? 
Mzuri sana. Wewe kwa mazina yako unaitwa nani? Naitwa Shilan Mukami. Ati nani? Shilan Mukami. Shilan Mukami. Yeah. Okay. Shilan umezaliwa wapi? Umesomea wapi? Nimezaliwa Embu na ndio bado nimesomea. Mm. So wewe ni Muembu? Mimi ni Muembu. Kiembu na kielewa zaidi? Eh, na kielewa zaidi. Vizuri sana. Vizuri. Okay. Ni ile sikifahamu vizuri nitakuwa nasema maneno yangu lakini tuendelea tu. So, uh, mukami kuna ile story tume imefanya tukaweza kupatana naye kwa leo na ningekuomba tu uweze kusalimia watazamaji wa Morori TV na Kororia TV. Morori TV ni channel zinashirikiana sana na Kororia TV ili kuweza kuletea jamii story kama hizi za ku encourage za kuatia nguvu na also story pia za kuelimisha mambo mawili ama matatu. So tungekuomba tu uwasalimie na then tuendelee. Okay, mjambo watazamaji kwa majina kama vile nimesema mimi naitwa Mukami. Na nashukuru kuwa hapa na Morori TV. Yeah. Karibu sana. Sasa Shira, wewe ulizaliwa wapi na uli grow wapi? Nilizaliwa Embu, eh, Manyata County. Eh, kijiji kinaitwa Kairuri hapo. Eh, alafu baadaye ndio tukahama, tukaenda mahali chini kunaitwa Mokango. Ya yeah. na nimelewa na wazazi wawili na hali ilikuwa mbaya na ilikuwa mbaya vile lakini tunashukuru sababu sisi wote watatu ni mimi msichana na vijana wawili and I'm the first born tuliweza kusoma at least hadi hadi high school mm. <sighs> was a really that is mom and dad and now you have you have two brothers yeah, aha uh-huh. na mimi ndio mkubwa wao ndio first born after kumaliza high school what happened and all that for you to be where you are today after kumaliza high school hata kabla results zitoke nilipata hii accident ulikuwa unaniauliza huku nilipata accident sasa so, unaona mambo ingeenda at least inge flow vile mtu alikuwa na expect lazima ya kwanza ningengoja nipate nafuu kabisa na after hiyo wakati ilipita Nili nilikuja Nairobi. Nilitwa na kazini yangu akaniita nikakuja Nairobi. Nikaanza ku hustle to vibarua, to promotion. At least ndio nipate kitu kidogo na niki nikielewa vile maisha inakuanga pia. Unajua lazima upate hiyo mtu wa kukushika mkono. Eh sasa baada ya hapo ndio nikakutana na mwa nikakuwa tuna rafiki na mwanaume fulani hapo na ikakuwa ikazidi mambo ikakuwa mazuri hadi nikaolewa kwanza maisha ya, ya ndoa tukaanza vizuri kapata first born na hapa na nikiwa, kwanza nikiwa na mimba ya first born ndio mamangu alikuja kaaga mamangu kuaga nikakuwa na ile uzito sasa sikuwa na mtu naweza kimbilia kwa na stress au mtu naweza pigia ushe kuna vile tulikuwa close na mamangu sababu hata before age alikuwa ameshare na mimi tu mambo yake unajua sasa hiyo nilikuwa nishakuwa msichana mkubwa ningeelewa yani akaniambia mambo mingi alikuwa anapitia pale nyumbani so baadaye akaaga muda usio kuwa mrefu nilikuwa nimejaribu hata kumhamisha kutoka home lakini mambo haikuenda vile tulikuwa tunatarajia yeah. kumanisha kumanisha kuwa pia mamako alikuwa anapitia challenges kwa kwa ndoa yake yeah, na alikuja kaga kwa nini aliaga juu ya pressure alikuwa na stress sana mm. sasa mimi baadaye nikakuja nikaolewa nikapata first born nikapata mimba ya second born hapa Ka- nakuja kupata mimba ya second born ndio mambo haikuwa ekwa rais kwangu sababu yule rafiki yangu sasa mwenye anaita bwanangu na alikuwa bwanangu kihalali eh siti rafiki alikuwa bwanangu kihalali alianza kubadilika vile siezi elewa nilikuwa nakaa naona kama hata niko kwa ndoto hamjakosana na mtu hamjagombana 
lakini mtu ameanza tu kusumbua from nowhere tu amebadilika alikuwa anafika kwa nyumba hata saa mbili latest hmm? ama hata kama anachelewa anakuambia but ikakuwa hakuna hiyo flow hatuongei vile tulikuwa tunaongea so mimi na ile ujauzito yangu ikuwa rahisi kabisa ikuwa nakaa tu nikimuuliza anakuwa defensive anaanza matusi anaanza yani nile anakuchukulia ni kama anakulisha ama ni kama we ni mmoja wa watoto wake ni nini unakosa pale juu kuna chakula kwa nyumba saa mimi tu vibarua twangu tunye nilikuwa naenda saa hiyo siezi enda nimepata nini majukumu tukaendelea hivyo hadi akakuwa was alikuja tu siku moja overnight ilikuwa usiku akatwambia i want to let you know this me and you can't live under one roof tafuta mali utapeleka watoto wako watoto ni wa mama nisikia kama siko sawa masikio yangu iko sawa nikamuuliza tena kindly can you come again akarudia na akaniambia nijaribu niharakishe nataki kunipata kwa nyumba yake so by the way nalikuwa naenda hata wiki tatu nataki kujua tunakula nini watoto wako waje wanakula nini wako sawa yani he didn't care kabisa kidogo tu huu muda huu wote mnaishi na robi na bwana kwa alikuwa anafanya kazi alikuwa kazi na mkiona hakuwa na mke mwingine Ah, ah hakuwa na mke mwingine. Na hata saa hii bado wakati wana kuambia itabidi ujipange hana bibi mwingine. Hana bibi, lakini nilikuwa na shuku kuna mali anaendanga. Eh, kwa zata wakati angechelewa job ningempigia. But hiyo wakati nikimpigia haizi simu yake iko too off. Anafungulia saa tisa za usiku technically na anazima. Haizi hata call back. So ndio nikashuku labda huyu mwanaume asha move on labda na njia nyingine. Mm, I shot to drop sasa. <laughs> Pale kidogo nimesikia me mention about your mom. Uh, mama ke na ye, maybe kwa kuguza ile kidogo sana. Na umesema mlikuwa mna share challenges na mama ke kwa sababu unataka mali tunaelekea mama ako. Kwa sababu unataka mtazamaji wetu aweze kuelewa mali tunaelekea na mali tumetoka. Ni like challenges gani mama ko alikuwa anapitia? Mamangu alikuwa anapitia kelele. Alafu mamangu alikuwa wale yani wale watu wanawake submissive, wale aizijiulizia hata swali. Unaona? So yeye akifinyiliwa anafinyika. Anafinyika analia na nipigia simu nsai mukami sijui ni keep feather pia. Akifanya tu maendeleo tudogo. Unapata kitu imekuja tu hivi kama sijui nasikia bango alikopa loan na kumwambia biashara yake ndio inakuja inabe inabeba so hadi akakata tamaa so challenges kama uto alafu pia mtu akikaa kwa nyumba uko peke yako au au mingle na watu na hii ni job imeisha hivyo so hapo ndio hata BP ilianza kumsumbua zaidi cause alia, alijaribu kujinua mara kama 4 5 anachukua yeye loan na anaweka ka job ama anatafuta pesa anaweka job kiweka job ndio hiyo kitu tena inabebwa story tu yani hizo story alafu kelele kwa nyumba as, mm. as a first born communication yako na your dad how was it as in maybe unajua mbongeo ongeo muuliza mama ko aje or maybe you try like talking to your dad communication with my dad was no bad it was good and cuz i remember hata saa zingine mamangu angetaka pesa kutoka kwa babangu mimi ndiye atapigia ambie your dad got some money do this mwambie ansidia na akusaidie mimi sasa so ananitumia kama thawa ma 500 ana kinitumia na mimi natumia madhi but nikiambia madhe this is not right ana ku treat vibaya tuketi chini tu tuongee ambia hapana unajua mtakuja tuongee mrudi mimi ndio nitabaki na nani 
so mimi nta bakini kilipa hiyo anaweza pretend everything is very okay but the moment you come home we talk kama wewe umpigie simu muulize uko hata lala na amani so hata unajua angeniambia kila kitu so namuuliza utalala na amani aje niambia mkami vai wacha tu hmm. but unaona ilikuja kujitoa kozali alianguka tu kwa bafu ali rapture vein kwa kichwa and atangeongea until her death Mm. Turudi sasa kwa kwa, kwa marriage yako. Marriage yako bado iko na utata. Bado kunaendelea noma zina hapena. Umepewa taraka na na bwanako pamoja na watoto. Kutafanyikaje utahama ama mtafanya namna gani? Mimi nilijipanga nikahama after saa kupata mtoto. Ile mtoto hata hakujua nikienda matane. Tayari alipata niliendanga hadi matane. Alinipata in labor akanisimamilia hapo nasa akamfukuza akamwambia kama kama umsugue mgongo we toka ndio akajaribu mimi na mimi nikamfukuza obviously singe mlet you know akaenda akangoja huko chini ya dini ka nikapata mtu hii so after one month after kurudi home ndio nilianza kutafuta nyumba by then my dad was very supportive sana 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 kanilipia msichana wa kazi akanisaidia kuhama na tukahama vizuri but sababu singetaka huyu mwanaume ajue kama tunahama lazima tungehama usiku kitu saa tisa hivi saa kumi za usiku sababu hata manaiba si wako na namba yake ama ako na mabeshi labda angeambiwa mahali uko kwa zao walikuwa naongea nao but sisi angeongea na sisi hata watoto so si tukahama vizuri na tukakuja yule Mwanaume mali yuko alijisikia after a month plus weeks a month and two weeks ndio niliona alafu saa mimi kukuja mali nilihamia kwanza nilienda kwa fida kwa watoto children forever nikaenda i talked nikaongea nao children officers wakaniambia saa for now tuwezi fanya kitu hadi kwanza arudi kwa mtandao yani aonge hapa arudi awashe simu kapiga kona mewasha kapigiwa kambua anahitajika urgently akuje kasarani nilikuwa nime report kasarani the guy came tukaongea akasema ya to support aku support for long like six, seven months hivi i think akaona eh atawezana ku balance kwa zata kazi alifutwa sasa yako jobless kuzalienda kazima simu na kwa na report at a job kaka after your seven months ndio akasema alikuwa anakuja mali tulihamia analeta fujo anachapa kama ni gate usiku anataka kuingia sasa ile fida imemwambia lazima alipe nyumba na simamia nini watoto so kuna hiyo mauchungu so anakuja tu kutu kutupia kunipea tu stress na chapa gate na baki nafungua hatuna peace akaona hapana tutapeleka ndio hivyo hata yakaanza akakuja akaniambia anaenda Dubai nitafuta pia mali nitapeleka nani watoto wangu sikuwa na option sasa nilikuwa hata nimefika mwisho kabisa nimechoka kasema sasa ntarudi home nikaongea na babangu kanimbea ni sawa we rudi wapi home lakini hata hiyo home na imagine vile naenda kuka sijui naanza wapi namalizia wapi kwa na wanaume peke yake mimi hata sikuwa nimewahi i think rudi uko tuko tunaongeanga tu kwa simu kwa naenda nimerudi sikuwa na inisha idols uko kwa kuzinona saa hiyo mama is not there kuka tukatafuta transport nikaita my brother kanisaidia tukapark hiyo siku ya kuhama hiyo baby daddy alisema hata alipa transport 18000 so si tuka relax na mzai siku ya kuhama alikuja pia kunikalia hapo you know mimi naenda dubai kutengeneza maisha yangu waenda na watoto wako ukalewa watoto watoto kambia ni sawa usijali kuna god Najua atatusaidia. He's gonna see us through. But bado unasikia tu uko na uchungu. Lakini unataka uwezi muonesha like amekuweza. Eh? Tukahama hiyo usiku that night. Bado tulitoka 3 Nairobi. Tukafika home kitu 
in the morning. Go five. Uh, tulitoka mapema kidogo cuz I think phone ndio tulifika home. Kufika kupigia wanaume alipe transport ashazima simu. Na kazima na kazima for like two weeks. What to transport wa kwapo? Wanataka pesa? Vitu zishatolewa kwa truck. Mzae hana do hata kwa amejipanga yenyewe unajua kitu kama hizo unaambua ina advance Sasa hiyo shato kana robi shall rudi ushago ama Eh sana transport ni kwenda ushago Transport tulikuwa sana after kufika ushago sasa okay. So alipi ile gari ili tubebea vitu amezima simu na wanataka 18000 Mzae hata sijua alikopa pesa wapi akalipa watu after some time hiyo mwanaume alikaa kaenda Dubai after a month anipigia sijui nimemkazia roho shilan umenikazia roho ndio sipati kazi sijaipata kazi ya design kamuliza how now mimi am so busy na watoto si mimi ulinipea kazi ya kule au ulienda kutengeneza maisha yako mimi am so busy hata hatukukumbuki anyway kanbia pana wewe ndio umenikazia roho nsamehe tu sijui mambo yangu ifunguke kongea hivyo mimi nikaachana na yeye. Sasa hapo kwa hizo harakati sisi tunajaribu kusettle nyumbani. Kafika mahali brother yangu ashaanza kuona sio rahisi huyu. Kudem kuko hapa na watu I remember kuna time brother yangu alikuwa anakata fence hapo. Sijui ni kama yani ni kama alikuwa anatoa mauchungu amekuwa nayo for long ilibaki hataki kuona watu wangu nikamwambia ai ben ni nini mbona unanifanyia watoto hivyo si treat vizuri hata utapata watoto nyi akaanza nyi kwendeni huko tokeni mali imetoka tafuta mali utapeleka uzao yako rushi ya roro wako sirie kule kuvira rushi ya roro wako that's your brother that's my own brother our last born kamiliza ben uko serious unatufukuza si hata si mimi niko na right hii nyumba mbia pana ulikuja kujifanya ni kama huku ni kwako na watu wote wanaishi town hiyo nyumba inaishi imefungwa but nao wameona maana yake eh, eh nika alafu vile anaongea ako na backup nikaambia my dad vile kumeenda hakuna action alichukua so nikaona hapa lazima kuwe kuna kitu mi nikatulia ikabaki atuongeleshani sasa na huyo hata salamu hata simu ashiki yangu kukaka ilikuwa ilikuwa itemi ya november october hapo december kuna kuanga na coffee plus watu wanachuna kahawa so by the time nilikuwa msoto vibaya sikuwa da pesa cash hivi but food i can confess atujai kosa home zaya alikuwa na provide Mm, Amezi vitu zingine na jaribu na ngangana. But sasa ikafika mahali. Au oh, hizo favors nilikuwa napata cuz unajua kuna wale bawal wishes umetoka Nairobi na kama chukua hiyo thao chukua nini? Hakuna sasa. Sa hata nikiambia my dad said na 100 hakuna. Ni watoto watakula ama niwe na kuachia 100. Naelewa. So katulia. Mimi sasa nikaanza kutafuta means zangu. Kwa isha amba kuna kahawa naona watu wanachuna wanaenda ku kuuza. Nikaingia kwa shamba, kachuna. Sasa kumbe ile brother yangu mkubwa na yeye afurahi vile nafanya. Sasa naye anashita, yeye ajishtaki sababu yeye ndio ufanya hivyo. Sasa so, namalizia, wana competition nimeingia. <laughs> oh, so ika hawa mnachuna ni baba yenu lakini hajui mnachuna kahawa nafaa kutuna ipelekwe kwa society yeah. lakini sasa si tunachuna tunauza huko locally unapata do cash instant why kabaki na chomewa mimi ndio uharibuka hawa na dina na chuna dizenya zijakoma eh hey, kabaki ni fujo mimi nikaacha kwenda nga kwa shamba so the other day nikakuwa determined yeah. ilikuwa imeiva ikupoa mechuna magunia mingi hapo sio sina hata shilingi ya ki hata ka lotion sina hata ka vaseline kakupaka mdomo sina 
Kasema ika hawa mimi ngoja. Kenda nikachota na ile container 5 liters 5 kg. Mm. Nikachota. <laughs> Nikaenda kuficha kwa brother yangu. So Michael first bona shaniona. She so naive. <laughs> she so naive. Vile tu anatokea guka. Mama mechota kahawa mificha kwa nkokolo. Nilikutwa huko na kahawa yangu. At, at this time watu wako Kulikuwa kuna miaka ngapi? Alikuwa well, ali like three years hii mwingine yako wanaenda one year hivi. Mm-hmm. Soko kwa kuadirisha kuna nyesha huko nje siku nimeonekana. Woka. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mama, just some mtoto ameza ya kuletea watu chicken, mm-hmm. to smoke, to sausage, sagu kandi ya mtu. <laughs> Mama kuna kitu anatuletea. Woka mamna mekoko kwa kwa nkokolo ameficha kahawa. Mm-hmm akakuja akanipata kaichukua hivi akanirushanisha na huko sasa watu wamejaa nje hao watu wakichuna ka umeona unaona unaona kisuko mshuko sasa ni mama fulani hapo mimi atasikuwa namjua eh huko na lea wezi mwizi hata ana adabu mimi namlelea watoto lakini hii ndio ananilipa nayo eh singi Sasa mimi nafanya hivyo brother yangu nasikia ashachota like bucket kama tatu na kaficha. Unaona? Sasa mimi mimi haka kanini kote na hata pesa yenyewe nataka mimi ni genuine mimi sikunywi pombe like my brother you know yanatafuta za kujibamba. Nilitukanwa nikatukanwa nikasikia hapa na I need to talk. Nikamwambia tafadhali wacha ni mimi utaniaibisha. Mimi nilikuwa nataka pesa pocket money. Mimi msichana nitafadhali amtanipea stress kwa hii bomba nikufe kama mamangu. Sasa hiyo unaongea nikijichapa hadi huko mapate. Kambia pana never mimi nitiko kuata mami. Haka nyamaza akaenda. Tukatulia the following week alikuja akiwa mlevi. Alikuwa anaishi town sasa vile. Sinakwambia hiyo bomba ilikuwa mtu alikuwa anakuja ile tu kidogo ma weekends. The following weekend akakuja mimi nikamwekea food mimi alikuwa nafika kama ni weekend niko peke yangu naenda bedroom. So kwa hii nyumba yetu ilikuwa anga tu bedroom. Kuna partition ilikuwa anga kwa hii bedroom ya pili. So made before I pass alikuwa amenaka bedroom ni kadogo na wamebaki tu na mzai. So atoe hii ukuta I expand nini sitting room. So sasa hapo ndipo tulienda tukakata kaka tukaanza kulala na watoto wangu kaeka tu curtain na tukaeka tukitamba mimi nilalanga wapi na watoto wangu sababu sasa hiyo bedroom nyingine si ni ya mzai kakuja sasa hiyo weekend nikamwekea food vizuri kalikuwa ka white rice kamebaki na kastiu so vile tuka white rice kako na hizi mabol za aluminium you know kampelekea tu sababu ni kadogo si kama sufuria yani nikamwekea hapo na siyo nikamwambia nikamwekea he alishika kairusha hivi kai slide kwa meza hii ni sahani gani unaniekea chakula kwake nikamuuliza seriously iko na ubaya gani sahani si unakulia kwa hii sahani smart hii rais unachota ukijiwekea sijui nini akaanza kuongea vibaya ni maana vile makuwa <laughs> Sikuongea naye mimi vile nilizishikilia hapo nilitoka nikavuta sini hapo tu table nikavuta kati yangu nikaenda kula kulala Sasa nime after missed it was like after 2 hours hivyo alifika kitu 11 Mimi nishashikwa na kausingizi nimelala Nikasikia kama nashikiwa simelala tu hivi na side kia mtu ananishika ananisheka ai kushika hivi kauliza ni nani no riko takira mkami mkami ni mimi kashika ka bed switch ai hakuna stima kabisa siku na ile flashlight ya simu kamulika na kuna ni babangu amekalia bed yangu nimelala hapa na watoto wangu akona vest 
kona kitu short sije hata ni box ama ni nini alikuwa ameva nikamwambia hapana ah ah uraika the bedroom kwa kwa niki ah ah kila acha tuongee kidogo tuongee tu kidogo kuja si unajua sasa backlight imeisha so anishika shika tu hivi unapata anishika boobs mimi nazaribu kutoa mkono muuliza ni nini kwa ina ngo badala nimuuliza kwa ina ngo ma sasa nishakiti kaambia nitapiga nduru hata siku hata nikapiga nduru mara mbili uma kana mbitane nitapiga nduru toka hapana ukauka sasa shaingiza mkono na huku kwa bedings anajaribu kunishika ananivuta ashaanza alikanishika mguu ashaanza kunivuta sasa nikapiga nduru kaniambia mpukamia hapana uka babako babangu nika nikainua mguu sasa hii side alikuwa amekalia nikampush na huko nikaendelea kupiga nduru akatoka sinipazia sasa kufungua hiyo mlango ya kuingia na huko kwake akaanza matusi alinitukana hata lea malaya mukami urutegera umara wa kwa musi nasikia sasa vile ime tan mimi ndio wewe wa dhukiria wako wewe ndio uliharibu kwa kwenu wewe ndio uliharibu kwako hata bwana yako alikuwa anajua wewe ni kisirani wewe ni malaya ulikuja huku ukafikiria huku ndio utakuja <laughs> umepiga malaya Nairobi ukachoka tena umekuja wapi nyumbani akatoka nje sasa hiyo anaongea hadi anatoka nje si pole pole akia cried the same night aliongea hadi 6 in the morning no me i couldn't sleep hata hiyo sleep singepata sasa 6 in the morning akaoga akatoka akaenda alienda church Chacha ameenda kufanya nini? Alienda church. Hata sijui alienda kufanya nini. Sijui. He knows better. Mimi singeza hata kuamkata singeza kumface. Kuka <laughs> after some time ndio hiyo kabaki. Sasa kila mtu anakutana na yeye, anampea suri za mkamia alikuja kunisumbu. I imagine me to go ya mukami bila mukami ni mbaya mukami ni malaya mukami ni tabia mukami ananiaibisha eh sina amani siezi yoa juu yake hmm? nikisimama na mtu utaoa nione na yeye hata kama tuko kama pale hivi nimesimama hapo na mtu anione na yeye labda nakuja kwake ama tunakutana ama anipate home hata si lazima tupatane na mukami ndugu tinda ukinja mbivia town You know akoyo amekuwa defensive so hata nikiongea na nani ni yeye anamwaibisha naona anamshtaki naambia watu story so kanza ku play victim good mm-hmm. so mimi na mimi me develop ile self kind of self defense ile, ile defense mechanism yani so i'm so harsh i'm so si kama rude lakini yeye kwake unajua ni mzazi anaona nime change so naona na disrespect akanitia wazee Mkami aniheshimu na niongele shanga hivi Nana adabu niko hivi kaongea kaongea akamaliza Mimi nikamwambia I'm so sorry to tell you this but hivyo ndivyo tunaweza jitetea nayo na nawaambia ukweli Muulize alikuwa amekuja kufanya nini kwa bedroom yangu na kama ni nyinyi mnge react after that na hizi matusi zote adi watu sijui wananiuliza wewe ni wewe mwarwa karioke ni wewe karioke twera kwa wewe mwaga nutika kugia wewe ni wacha kusumbua babako utamuua mapema wewe lazima mso innocent mimi how was there wako ongea anything tukamaliza hiyo hiyo kamati ikafungwa na wakaenda sasa baadaye wananiambia ningemfunika sasa huyo my uncle ningemfunika 
Sisi mtu atoangi avuangi babake nguo. I think ni sababu hiyo kum expose sasa. Mm. Singefaa kuongea hivyo. Kwa nini? But for them wakati walikuwa pia wameambi about your immorality. Uh, did they take a step of before wakuje kukukalisha chini wakiwa wengi like ananko angekuvuta kando peke yake akualize aseme first of all kama babako so jo baba bado ni babako uh, ali take time kukuja kukuongelesha before like before hata ukuje kuitwa kwa ile committee so ni goje baka isi kumkuja mkae chini mi hata wakuniambia in advance walipata nikichemsha maji hapo nje na kuni ya kuoga Mzaya. Kwa nini unaenda eh? Na ni wetu nakuja kuona, walitokelea na huko chini kwa shamba na huko. Mzee mnakuja kuniona aje na mjaniambia, mi naenda niko na appointment. Tiko ndoradhi. Walika chini bila babako ama pia babako alikuwa kwa ile. Alikuwa hapo. Eh, siendi alikuwa sasa anawaambia vile niko irrespectful. All along babako wako amekuambia labda nataka kuoa. Unajua sometimes uh, akufukuzae hakwambii toka. Na maybe matendo tu. Sema na kuna mtu ashaikata. Hata si mtu mmoja ama wawili mimi ndio nilikuwa nawakaribisha. Si mimi ndio niko home na mimi ndio dem. So niliwakaribisha wote. Nani hao? Yaani sema ni rafiki, girlfriend nini? Alikuwa free. Si tulikuwa tumempea hiyo go ahead. Wewe huwa ukijisikia si hatuna shida kama watoto wako. Huwa katika miti na kuja kukaa na wewe chini ika miti imefomiwa na babako. Where are your brothers? Wako. Na hata wako wanajua kitu kama hiyo ina happen. Mm. So brothers zako pia wako washaanza ile ya kutoka kutokea ushago waende na Robi wakatafute makazi mimi waweze kujifaidi. Kila mtu alikuwa anakaa nyumbani. Hakuna huyu first born alikuwa anaishi tao. Huyu last born Ben. Huyu alikuwa anaishi na Embu town. Mm. Yeye mwingine ndiye alikuwa huko lakini alikuwa na kanyumba kake kando. Mm. Koi harakati yote. Wakati mliko sana na bwanako. Babako uhusiano wako wake na bwanako ulikuwaje? Washai kwa marafiki, washai kwa naongea kama zile. Unajua sasa kama kama mimi tuseme ningekuwa nimeoa, ningekuwa naongelesha uh, uh, maybe baba ya bibi yangu tukakuwa tusha kwa marafiki kwa sababu mimi atanichukua kama mtoto wake yeye bwanako relationship yake na babako ilikuwa vipi haikuwa mbaya sana lakini nakumbuka kuna time walikuwa naongea hata hiyo time alikuwa na support watu hii akiwa Dubai but kuna hii wakati ilifika sasa after hiyo incident ya kutaka kuni rape hmm? after hiyo incident akatafuta sana anataka namba yake sana 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 kuzuyo na yeye alikuwa amechange namba hiyo time alafu pia alikuwa naona ni kama mimi usaidiwa na sasa hiyo huyu mtu aliacha kunisaidia kita so after bonako kuna dubai kuna wakati ilifika akaanza kusaidia watoto eh alipata job si alikuwa naona mimi ndio namkazi ya roho so i think alikuwa anataka kusafisha roho yangu pia so alinitumia pesa like six months seven hivi nakaacha so yu babangu ilifika mahali aka nikampea namba cuz me i had nothing to hide nikampatia akampigia kumpigia sijui nini alimwambia but kulikuwa na aunt yangu alikuwa anajaribu kutuleta pamoja mimi na bwanangu unaona alikuwa anasema si ni wadogo sana tunafaa kulea watoto pamoja so uyu uyu Baby daddy aliambia auntie yangu aje. Alimwambia wacha nikwambie. Mimi mokami siwezi. Sababu hata baba yake vile anaongea juu yake na ni mtoto wake. Unasikia? Unasikia hiyo statement? Kuzata mokami vile anaongea juu yake na ni baba yake anaongea juu yake. Mimi hata siwezi. So now you can imagine vile anaongea huko ndivyo alienda kuambia nani baby dad akiona kama nitaenda kusema vile alikuwa anajaribu kulala na nani na mimi unaona so ikafanya baby dad amalize na wewe ai yeye alimaliza na mimi kabisa 
sasa nasikia hata ameambia aunti yangu the same na aka block na aka block simu aka block hata mzae kila mtu na tukaachana na ye. sasa imefika mahali bangu amepata mtu wa kuoa amemleta nyumbani ndi kamkaribisha tukampikia vizuri after like a month babangu akagonjeka babangu kugonjeka atujaiona amegonjeka by the way yeye alikuwa anga na hizo attack asthmatic asthmatic hivi asthmatic related na kunywa tu dawa na pona so ikiwa baki ni 3 weeks 4 weeks ai kaambia nikapigia sasa Ben your time tulikuwa tumeanza kuongelesha nikampigia kwanza Ben umeongea na mzai akoaje umempitia sasa sio wanaishi town kaniambia nilipitia hapo jana na mimi sikuona akiwa poa bu pigia nani bibi yake nikapigia kapig, hata sikupigia bibi yake nipigia mzai hakushika wife akashika kamuliza yeye mambo mzai akoaje nambia yeye sawa karoba nafanya nini ana mstim na rob yo nikamuza ai mtu ana stimiwa na rob kwa sawa afunguke hebu nipe yeye nikamuza hello baba uregu atia alisema <coughs> mukami ambai ningefanya nini atiam <coughs> mukami ha ani ni kama ha wacha tu hivyo nikapigia ben omba ruhusa enda job enda hapo kwa shop chukua mzai tupatane embo level 5 sai 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 sikufikiria mara mbili kashawa raka tukapatana level 5 kwenda hata guy like boys hata kuna hata risita kwa amechukua akuchukua hata risita manidi sasa hiyo ni 4 huyu mtu amewezwa anasema vile anajisikia zilala leo anaenda nikamza sasa unataka aje kanimbia pana ya ndi ameanza story kamisikiza mimi nashuku huyu mwanamke mimi sijai gonjeka hivyo naona kama kuna kitu ananifanyi ananifanyia na kama kuna utajiri anafikiria amekuja kuchota hapa haku hapati chochote kamza ai wamo shuku nike kanimbia pana mkami hizi kitu ya kawaida mimi nagonjeka leo na pona na hizi ni dawa nimeishikukunywa na nakuwa relieved. Lakini sasa ona sasa hivi mimi nalazo hospitali. Mimi hata sijai lazo hospitali. Yaani anaongea na hiyo pia mauchungu. Nambia hapana we basi tufanye hivi. Tukiingia huko nimuuliza unataka tuingie consultation na wewe ama utaingia peke yako. Kanambia tu dhi. Na kwanza useme aoshe hiyo dawa detox kabisa hizo dawa zote amekunywa. Anasikia zimemweza. Nikamwambia ni sawa nitasema. Alafu unataka aje. Mimi ninge suggest mimi ndio nilisema say they would meet you ama turudi na wewe home usiende kwa nani kwa wife kwanza hata situkuangalie kasema ni sawa ya kuna kitu amekata mimi nakumbuka vizuri sana <laughs> tuliingia na kandikiwa admission na tukimpeleka kwa wards kukubaliana sisi wote sana ni mimi Ben the last born na my dad. Eh mwanamke asijue mahali nani? Yuko. Sababu ni ten usiku hajapiga simu hata kuuliza bwanake yako wapi? Ako vipi? Eh? Kasema ni sawa. Kalala ni tukaacha ako seto, dem seto amepoa bed. Kaenda home. Sasa nikaona yule mwanamke ananipigia mimi sikushika. The following morning nikampigia 6 in the morning. Ulilalaje? Ah, mimi niko poa naongea kama radio hata. Usikiwe hiyo sauti. Yaani yote uwezi sema ni mtu alikuwa msiki. Kambia sawa nitaku, takuja. After two hours ndio hiyo simu. My aunt sasa. Wewe ni vavo wako. Uachane na bibi yake kabisa. Ashindwa where did that come from? Atembe kumbe umeambwa na babako wachana na bibi yake. Mhm. Kamuzani ni ai. Niki, this say. 
Wacha ni kuambia na ongea na ukali, babangu ni mtu hasira sana. Usijaribu kwenda hiyo husimu, kama wachana na yewe, si ulikuwa unataka hapona. Kama mza ibu ni ambia vizuri, my dear. Kwa ni kumenda, jimi ndio mbaya sasa. Kumbe morning, walienda, wakakubali. Hata vile tulikuwa tumesema, asijue asi, asi maali uko. Uyu bibi ali mpigia simu na akashika na alienda adi kumuona hiyo six. Ha? Eh? wakaongea siju vile waliongea mimi mimi nikasema ni sawa si kwenda hata akadischargeiwa ho si sikujua vile alidischargeiwa after two weeks brother ngo ndio hiyo mbio on a sunday june yeye anashingi huko kwa home mka mimi umepewa notice ujua mali utapeleka watoto wako nimetumwa na mzai Wait, all along ulikuwa ulitoka kwa mzae uliachanga watu yuko. Watu wamerudije kwa mzae? Si tulikuwa na watu wote sasa home. Okay. Eh vile after kutoka Nairobi si nilienda na wazae na, na watu wii. Sasa ndio my brother hata alikuwa nje ya kuingia kwa nyumba. Mbona na mzae utafute mali utapeleka watoto wako na wewe mtoke kwa nyumba yake hataki kuona huko. Na mepua notice ya one man. Hai. Umuza nimefanya nini. Kambia sijui bata na ungea mejamu vibaya. Sana ataki hata kukuona. Ikabaki ni hivo ni hivo. Anemenitumia adi ya ankole yangu tena. Haka nipea notice. Pia hata ye. Ya kukakaa hapo. Sisosa na jaribu kudigest. Hei mina ona hii kitu itakuwa serious. Nisha, naona watu wanakuja mchana bo, na boda wanakuja wanatuchungulia hadi watoto nikaacha wachezange tinje ujui nani anaweza tumwa na anakuja kufanya nini so nikashare na my aunties my relatives my friends kambia mi hakuna sijui nitafanya nini nikaambua ni bebe kila kitu yangu huko eh sasa kuna my aunt ngine hapo ndiye alikuja ka kama bila is at least nikachangiwa pesa haraka haraka kuchangiwa pesa before sasa nichangiwe pesa aliita kamiti sasa acha nipe notice sasa mimi nilikuwa nimeenda kwa chief na kwa sub chief nika report sub sina namna until sasa nikaitiwa kamiti yake eh? ni mtu wa kamiti akaita na mimi sasa vile nilipewa watakuja kuongea kambua nikaadvisewa na za tafuta chief ndiye aliniambia tafuta wanawake wana wamekoma kama watatu wanne sikakuja akaulizwa shida ni nini mbona mnanifukuza chief sasa ndiye anaongea ama ni sub chief mbona wananifukuza akasema vile nime make life and be arabu huko askia sasa ati hata brother yangu simpati yangu food whereas brother yangu anakujanga anachukua chakula six si uko hapo kwa barabara ana time babangu akitokea job kama ni weekend anamwambia hata sijakula siku tatu hata sijakula siku tatu sipe yangu hata chai hata maji hata kuongea na wao ni shida sasa mzee anataka kusikia hiyo uba yangu anachemka wanakuja wawili tule chakula tumebaki hapo anachukua na mpatia sasa hii brother yangu akona chakula kingine wapi kule Mimi nabaki nikilipa. Hawa watoto ni kama hizi ngombe ziko huku nje. <laughs> Wewe hata ngombe uwezi pewa maji. Unafikiria hii ngombe haina damu ina run kwa veins zake kama hawa kai. Unanyima hadi brother yako mmezaliwa pamoja chakula. But nikijaribu ku explain, mimi hakuna mtu ashaidi pea chance ya kujiongea. Kuji Sababu they know ni kuniekelewa na niekelea. Hiyo umalaya hiyo nini? Hata kuna relatives wengine wanaaminingi ni umalaya kweli mimi ni mbaya. Nilikuwa nalalisha wanaume kwa nyumba. How now? Ningeweza aje na hiyo. Okay. So sikuya kuongea sasa tuko kamati imekuja my dad ndio huyo ameanza kuongea malalamishi 
haizi jenga tumekula invest yake yote investment yake yote inaendanga kwa watoto haezi yoa nilikuja kujifanya huko kama kwangu yani taki huko sikia sikia shaoa tena eh sikia shaoa si ndio alikuwa anasema yani hadi yangeoa juu yangu alafu sasa nime make life and bear book sasa hivi wakati ya shaoa mnaishi bado kwa nyumba moja na ile na bibi yake ama anaishi town sasa na o walienda kukomboa nyumba huko town na bibi yake okay sasa mimi lakini akasema ile kitu imemwasha zaidi ni kuita bibi yake mcha mchawi kamuza seriously kamuza judi mimi nishaikuongelesha tushajibiza na hata kwa simu niliongea nawe mwisho lili like for real sasa ni time yangu sasa naongea <laughs> Nikamwambia hapana mbona unasema nililita Judy mchawi mimi sijawahi Nikasema oh kumbe ni ile siku basi Nikamwambia sikizeni hapa ilienda hivi bla 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 husi mzaendi alikuwa anasema hivi anafikiria huyu bibi anakuja kuchota anamshuku so mimi kama mtoto wake na naona ni babangu lazima ningemfanya Ijaribu juu chini kuzapa tu it's a matter of life and death. Kwanza apate nafu ya kujisikia kurudi kwa nani ndio tulikuwa tunamwambia kuja wapi nyumbani ama alazwe na yeye mwenyewe alikubali. Mimi Zaya <laughs> liamka akaanza kuchukua maglasi ananichapa nazo akanichapa mangumi za mgongo. Sinili ameamka wewe unakaa hivi unaona nakukujia. So mangumi kwa mgongo kuamka chifa kanishika kanificha nyuma yake anakupiga chifa kiwa hapo yes anachukua maglasi ananirushia zikiwa na maji wao wengine wanachukua zenye ziko kwa meza bradangu akamshika katupa mzae nje koni babako alikuwa analewa was he depressed i don't think so nako atanavuta kitu yote Asijai mwana So chief ali mwaje Chief ndiye ali Ali after sasa rudi ndio chief akasema kasema ni, niendelee kuongea so nikajaribu the second time pia kuongea akaamka tena kaanza kunichapa kabaki sasa hii story haizi endelea akaulizwa yeye anapanga aje kasema yeye anataka nimondoke kwa nyumba yake bibi yake anaongea huwa akati wote ukimuuliza maswali kama ushaimtukana ama anything alikuwa anajibu kwa nafanya hivi mukami So what will happen next? Next. Ilibaki sasa Chief alisema hata kama niko na right na wanaweza ongea na serikali kisimama ponta ka nyumbani but I'll have no peace na tutakuwa at risk. So the best thing ni kutoka. So mimi kajipanga vizuri. Nikaongea na manti zangu, kanichangia do. Before that kwa hizo yani harakati alienda ka draft message the dad akasema i disown you you are not my daughter you are a prostitute and i want you to pay me each and every drop of blood ilimwagika nikikuza akasaculate your message kwa kila mtu alikuwa hapo chief sub chief sijui nani mankol zangu mimi ndio nikatumiwa nikanifikia 
nilikaa hivi kwa nalia yake. Shu nitapeleka watoto wapi? Huku pia nimefukuzwa. Mali nilitoka nilifukuzwa. Mamangu ayuko huyo ndiye alikuwa ananielewa. Sina kazi. Ikafika mahali. Kasikia nimekata tamaa. Kambia anti yangu nimechoka na maisha. Kaniambia hapana. Sasa tuone tutapata pesa ngapi na nataka uende mbali. Hata afta kuongea na yeye hivyo nikapigua simu akaniambia mukami sasa na friend of his peste yake. Kaniambia uko msipohama mtachomewa kwa hiyo nyumba. Tochomwa ndani ya hiyo nyumba. Muliza kwa nini? Ai baba kwa yuko sawa vile anaongea hapana. Hameni haraka iwezekana. Sasa nikachangiwa pesa haraka haraka tena 3 usiku. <laughs> Tukaanza kupack. Uko na hama usiku kila time. 3 usiku. Kaanza kupack. Gari kakuja tukaingiza tukaenda. Ndio sisi hawa anti yangu aliniconnect na mtu anajua hapa thika nikahamia huko nikakaa. Kuna ile pesa nilichangiwa sasa kuna yenye imebaki nikajaribu kufanya tuka biashara kubai to kitchen towels anti yangu pia kinifanda well, lakini ikafika mahali na yaka drop kazi sasa mimi hii pesa napata kwa soko sababu nilikuwa na nile ya kutandika tu jioni sababu si sunelewa hiyo hustle ya jioni kuzata kutoka kwa nyumba sinkuwa naweza ai It was very hard. Watoto wanataka kuna huyu mmoja ako shule anataka shule. Hmm. Anti yangu after sasa hiyo nini hiyo harakati ya kuuza kufanya nini kaisha biashara ikaisha si tumekula yote. Tupata 30 bob. Unaenda una buy maziwa ya 20 na bike janya na jipanga mnakula hiyo siku inaisha unapata 50 bob inaisha yani tukakula biashara ikaisha sika baki sasa ni valuations guys unisaidie na thao si unikopesha up to now niko na madeni mingi sana ile accident nilipatanga it's jail lipo kutoka hiyo 204 mm, hadi wa leo wa iko kotini tu inaendanga hivi uko na lawyer. Eh. Anakuambia ngaje mbona kiti kesi inazungushwa. Ile lawyer ali alininiwa kwanza alikuwa na hiyo kesi. By then unajua nilikuwa minor. So mzee ndio alitafuta lawyer. So ali kesi ya D2016 judgment ikatoka. Judgment kutoka nikaenda kwake aliniambia amemaliza kazi yake. Eh. Ina nikajiklemia nini pesa? Nikamwambia naenda kujiklemia aje. Kaniambia hapana nimejaribu kufikia watu insurance wa party sijui nini. Nikamwambia okay ni sawa. Sasa sasa hii ni mkubwa niko vile niko. Ngana nikatafuta another lawyer. Aniklemia aniklemia pesa hiyo pesa. So sasa kuna hii mvutano iko hadi saa hii for like three years now. Hmm? Three years. Mvutano iko eti huyu lawyer wa kwanza hataki kuachilia kesi apatie huyu wa claim. Ananiitisha pesa. Naomba sina pesa. Na ile pesa waliandi hata wakuandikiana na mzai ile pesa mimi nafaa kumlipa. Kisikisha. Naona but bado unaona aku kesi akumaliza job yake. So nishaenda kwa huyu lawyer anajaribu sasa hii imebaki kuna hiyo mediation sijui wanafaa kufanya hiyo mediation whatever wakubaliane. Dates zinaruka each and every day mwaka inaisha. Ingine tena mwaka inaisha. Ingine tena mwaka inaisha until now. Na huwa wakati wote bonako alinyamaza kabisa haongeangi 
ama hashai try to respond na hajai rudi Kenya hata kuja kuona watoto alinyamaza but after saa kurudi tika nikampeleka kwa fida akaanza kupopin kidogo kidogo complain unajua saa ali move move on hadi alioa kapata mtoto eh alikuwa anapopin hata kama si sana ndio ndio sasa nikachoka unaona nikachoka ikafika mahali ndio unachoka na maisha kabisa 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 unaangalia watoto unashindwa ni kuwa meza utawa meza ama utafanya nini umezunguka hiyo mzunguko yote kafika mahali sasa nikamwambia nika at least at support ni hame at least nienda mahali kuna lai mali unaweza fanya kitu so kuna utu tu panty to socks to handkerchief to 3030 ndio nikaanza ku survive na watu wenyewe hadi sai Wacha nakuuliza swali moja. Uh, ah, mtu akikuangalia hivi, haji unaweza kuwa na story ambayo ni ya uchungu ndani yako. Uh, wakati nilikuwa na commit ama wakati mimi na kuangalia na una demsupu dema kotu sawa. Uh, na maybe mtu amekaa vizuri. Mimi wakati nilikuwa na kuona sikujua ati maybe unaweza kuwa na story ambayo ni ya uchungu hivi ama pia maisha inaweza kuwa iko ngumu kwako kumaanisha Mungu bado amekupatia ile grace atunaonekana ni mtu wako tu sawa how does it feel ukiona wewe ni msupu uko na watoi uh, ule maybe mlipendana zaidi mamako mzazi aliaga kwa kupitia maybe mateso the same applies ule mwenye angekuwa hapo bwanako akakupitishia pia kwa mashida kuhepa kwenda kwa babako mwenye angekupenda kama mzazi ya kushike kama mtoto wako and you know as a father kuna ile mapenzi na kunga kati ya baba na na daughter pia na yeye huyo amejaribu kukurep uh, how does it feel ndani yako na baka saa hii ati hauna mtu anaweza kuwa ni father figure kwa familia yako going through all that uh, kukuwa hauna watu wote not even your own brothers eh? not even your in-laws not even your fathers who is on your side uh, a time i know unamko napata unaona maybe ni dema amepita na bwanake na watu wao wameshikana wako happily you have friends maybe tunakwambia mimi babangu tunapendana zaidi naenda kuona babangu wewe as a lady as a single mother how does it feel it's very painful it's unbearable nile naona anga tunajiambia that was my wish but i never know god and as a kwana plans poa na mimi in future what's your relationship with god my god is my everything i cry to him i scream i yell hata nishindo kulala Naweza fikiria naongea na mtu nitaanza kumwambia haki God sunipe tu usingizi nilale. Wakati mm. sina food kuna time nafika anga inabaki sina food kabisa. Mtu God haki please. Watu tu usikubali watu wangu walale nje. Mm. Please. Yeah. And I know he's been there for me all through. Usha your strength to yo strength yo kukuwa tu na wewe timi sijai gonjeka bp hata nikigonjeka ni ile unless ni kuna very burning issue kama hiyo time sana nilikuwa nafukuzwa home kuna vile ilikuwa inaanza kunisumbua but ikakaa tu ikaisha nikaika regulate so na jotu yote ni grace to your god mm. do you go to church yes i do have you ever given up on god like god i'm giving up on you Yeah there's a time I do I did sababu nilikuwa na feel nimeomba sana nothing is coming up Nimeomba sana nimepiga magoti sana nimelia sana kwa ni Mungu wako wapi aniski zangu Watu sayo wako wanasoma wako classes gani Wako grade 2 and 4 mm. 
who is paying school fees for them na hasa sasa zingine naambia baba yao anapopin but food is your main thing yes kanga yani yeah said yake ni watui na get said yake ni watui peke yake but the rest kama food bali mi ni ko involved bado naishitika after supper sindi nilikuwa nimekwambia nilihama nika hata hiyo bibi dadi ndio nilimwambia pia at support tuweze kuhama twende ende mahali kuna live yani kuna naweza kufanya pia youtube biashara nini ndio tukahama sasa kenda Nairobi mukami kuna watu unajua natutazama pale maybe they've been at your position some god has blessed them mtazamaji hizi stories work tunakuletea so that maybe uh, you can uh, be in a position to understand god and also kuweza kusaidia mungu maybe kusaidia watu kama hawa najua kuna mtu pale anatazama na angetaka kusimama na wewe ni ni, ni usaidizi gani una feel ungetaka watu kusupport nayo mimi nashukuru god so far mali amenifikisha na najua hata vile niko vile vile tu napata hiyo strength ya kuamka hata kufika mahali kama hapa ku share you know it's just people out there pia wenye wamenishikilia those who believe in me and god pia anawatumia and so now ningeomba tu mwenye anaweza nisaidia at least niweze kujisimamisha cuz mimi hata nifikirie vile eti tunalala nja sometimes zama vile sina hata mtoto amekuwa m6 na do ya kumpeleka hosi vile unaona yani kuna madem i'm not judging them kila mtu ako na story yake but eti unaweza lala na mwanaume ndio kupatie pesa i've never done that kuzata hiyo jina tu siju malaya ama kuna tu mwanaume karibu you know imekuwa too much kwa masikio yangu from north east west and center it's too much for me mm. so ata naweza omba tu mtu tu anisaidie genuinely wholeheartedly na najua god atam bless mukami believe there is god in heaven and uh, there is god who hears whatever we say and whatever we pray okay uh dana jioni uh, na leo asubuhi wa Kenya wameamkia a very disturbing news of a lady from Kitengera Mwenyambaya ali kwa video i've watched that video sijui kama ume watch ya yeah, a lady mwenye sijui kama ako depressed ana anaonekana mtoto akilia akilia na uh, the lady ako uchi then ameshika kisu after mtoto amelia sana anaanza kumdunga dunga na kisu akimwimbia nyimbo za nursery school naona zile nyimbo za watoto hii anamdunga tu anamdunga tu then there is whoever was taking a video alikuwa na document kwa sababu walikuwa na jaribu kuvunja ile mlango waende waka rescue ule mtoto kwa ile nikitazama ile nyumba ni kubwa sana. Mimi kuna watu wanaishi kwa manyumba kubwa but bado wako na depression. Wako na mavitu wanapitia. Mimi nikiangalia ule mama inasemekana ule mama afta amedunga dunga ule mtoto imefika place afta mtoto amekufa ametoa intestines zake za huo mtoto ameanza kuzi kuzikula. So na huo ni mtoto wake kujizalia. First I want to thank God that wewe God ame sustain that haujafika point ya kuwa na stress ya kusumbua watoto despite whatever you've gone through meaning god is still preserving you cause he has a reason why you are going through such cause some day god will take you to another level and you will be a pillar to some people who are watching to this show okay uh na wewe mtazamaji wangu mimi nakuomba itakuwa ni sad sana Ningependa sana kusimama na mukami hata nimweke vizuri, nimpatie chakula or anything lakini sina uwezo. Ninacho uwezo ni kumpatia such a platform aweze kujiongelea apoe roho yake 
amwage machozi afanye hivi a reduce ile uzito iko kwa hati yake we heal by talking or by speaking whatever is bothering us inside if you are there you are watching this show and maybe you'd want to be given a chance maybe to come and share your story here and also if you are there and you'd want to support this lady mukami you can do so nitakuwa naongea na mukami hapa ndio aweza kutupatia namba yake ya simu we see what you can do um support feel free to visit her if you are there you can support her even financially pia atakumpatia kazi aweze kulea wale watoi asifike mahali wa mama wakitengera amefika kindly do so if you are there you also have a friend who is going through tough time kindly make sure that you are checking on them you are calling them to check on whatever they are going through some might have lost their jobs some might be going through a tough time but they need you they need your support kindly make sure that you are supporting them and you are checking on them mukami is one of them and she is here after going through all that pain she is still pressing on and believing that god in heaven will do something labda uko hapo and maybe uko na opportunity unaweza itia mukami ya kazi muitie tafadhali encourage her call her to encourage her support her mukami haangalia hata kama ni unga moja send your support to mukami bless her support her talk to her pray for her also encourage her mukami ningetaka sasa nikupatie nafasi hii uweze kukuambia watazamaji wetu wa Morori TV na Korodia TV ambao wangekuwa na nafasi ya kukupata watakupata kivipi uh, first of all about uyo, uyo the lady you akitengela kindly ladies baby mamas single mothers hata kama uko kwa hiyo marriage god akon a reason akuweka vile uko sai it doesn't matter story yako inakaaje but it's up to you kupea god hiyo uvumilie tu uvumilie there's a breakthrough cuz kama nilikuwa naona ilifika mahali pia kuna vile nilikuwa nimeanza pia hata mimi kuchapa watoto saa zingine kitu kidogo unaona umechapa mtoto alafu unaenda unalia huko nje unalia unashanga sana nimemchapia nini so ilifika mahali nikaona ile njia naenda napotea naweza fanya kitu mbaya so sometimes kama mtu amekasirika ama kama uko na stress zako hata kama utashare na mtu ondokea tu kwanza toka nje do something you love pray hard lia kulia imenisaidia mimi kulia nimelia i won't deny that na imenisaidia sana na unaomba kwa bidii na kuwe na hope mm. kijua tomorrow is a better day so mi namba yangu ni zero, <coughs> excuse me, zero seven two two one four nine six seven nine zero seven two two one four nine six seven nine Inatoa majina gani kwa sababu ya wale watu wa diaspora? Inatoa Shilan Mukami ama Shilan Karioki. Unaweza speli hiyo jina Shilan? S H E I L A N. S H E I L A N. Hivyo linatoka kwa Mpesa. Shilan Mukami ama Shilan Karioki. Okay. Maybe umeza kupata story. Shiran Mukami Karioki. Okay. Maybe umeza kusikia story ya Shiran Karioki, Shiran Mukami tafadhali. If you are there and you can offer her support kindly, make sure you do so. Kutoka kwa Morori TV, tuna kushukuru sana kwa kusimama na sisi na pia kwa kuwa mmoja wetu tunakuombea Mungu wazidi kukubariki so that you can be in a position to be supporting whatever we do here for those who believe in Morori TV and Kororia TV may God bless you may God take you to levels that uh, even your enemies won't understand where God is taking you thank you for supporting us thank you for even supporting whoever comes on board thank you kwa kusikiza pia stories zetu we not take it for granted kindly check our facebook page morori tv kororia tv and if it's your first time here kindly make sure that you've subscribed so that you'll be notified each and every time we upload a new video if you're there and you'd want or you'd like to share, to, to share your story 
on any of our channel here kindly make sure that you're following us and also kuna zile namba zimekuwa zikipita hapo kwa screen like kwa Mururi TV na kwa Korea TV hizo namba piga simu ukipiga simu huone uone haichukuliwi tafadhali tuma sms will get back to you ziko pia kwa whatsapp you can send your message and we'll get back to you and give you opportunity to come and share your story si lazima ikuwe sad story it can also be a story to encourage others and also transformation god's transformation we are here to bless and to praise the lord for this opportunity so on behalf of Korea TV you have Jonjo Akamau on the other side and I'm here as Jeffrey Outa Murori TV so till next time may God keep you may God bless you and may God bless you more and more see you Nyokore to get the cabin area Jehoga ku ogegithia nayo reu doga tag kerege cabin ya residential capital limited mari haha ni todo akwe tore na broti the kamuno kore mwena wa malindi na mwena wa matu sha 50 by 100 ili tore dia nabe ya mhuko waku mwena wa malindi tore dage kamero gwena tu kuma malindi airport na tore ganetia na sarget bypass hakuwe na wero technical college broti shitu tore kwede dia na thogora wa giriga na rimwe ya mirogo etano peke yake ukaigera giriga mirogo etano isho igyo na mirie tadatu ukegera title deed yaku aturolia matu na kuonea tia tuna broti along kivandini masinga bypass gatagate kamu tu amwaki na kalundu shopping center na nedege kai 15 tu ku mama tu town tra kwederia na thogora mvashirire washirigi girimagara mere ma 150 peke yake wari hashirigi girimero gwetano isho igyo kare hana ihida ria mirie tadatu murata wakwa dukeyo herigi uhoro we naguo ha uhoro makeria no tu horere thimu namba 070 5327268 kana 0722 113630 kana to share na wavijina shitu royro town dev cash house first floor room number 9 waraneria naidwe residential capital limited home lives dreams